Amazon Web Service is the leading cloud providers in the market right now and serving excellent services to businesses around the world. Amazon has a variety of cloud certification that validate your expertise in AWS cloud. These certifications are divided into three level foundational associate and professional level. AWS cloud practitioners fall under foundational level certification and help you to gain basic understanding of AWS cloud. Hello everyone. Welcome to weekly video series from K21 Academy where we take you in a journey from complete beginner to expert level. In this video, we will cover roadmap to AWS cloud practitioner. Let's begin this session by taking a look at the agenda. Firstly, we will get introduced to AWS cloud. Then why AWS practitioner certification? After that, who AWS practitioner certification is for? Then all the necessary details about AWS practitioner exams. And finally, AWS practitioner exam preparation tips and some FAQs. We are going to look all this in today's episode. Now let's move ahead and start with introduction to Amazon Web Service. So cloud computing is one of the rapidly growing industries and top area investment. Not just we are talking about money. Actually, companies need cloud technologies to host their application and run their business more efficiently and effectively. As a result, every single business moving towards cloud these days and in IT world, you should not fall behind in adopting new technologies like Amazon Web Service. Back 2006, Amazon took an initiative to offer cloud computing services to businesses around the world. Now, Amazon Web Service is top leading cloud giant in the market. It offers more than 175 services. AWS has 55 availability zone in 24 regions around the globe. According to a report, Amazon Web Service has the maximum market share above all the cloud vendors and many big companies using this cloud computing to run their business such as Netflix, BBC, Facebook, Spotify, LinkedIn and the list goes on. In order to use AWS services, Amazon has launched many certification teaching you how to deal with those services. Now you might have question why AWS cloud practitioner certification. AWS cloud practitioner is a fundamental level certification that is designed for anyone who want to understand the basic of cloud computing with special focus on Amazon Web Service. AWS Practitioner is the right certification to begin your journey in AWS Cloud that helps you to build your AWS Cloud knowledge by learning about AWS Cloud concepts, AWS services, security, architecture, pricing and more. Becoming an AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner is recommended non-compulsory steps towards achieving an associate level or a specialty level certification. This certification is a commitment of your expertise in AWS cloud and make you stand out in the corporate world. The CV with AWS certification is globally recognized and highly valued. After earning a certification, 26% report job promotions and 35% technical professionals says getting certified led to increase in salary. Updating your profile with AWS certificate will increase your chances of getting chosen and obviously a company more likely to work with an certified individual rather than who isn't. So these are some of the reasons why you should go for AWS practitioner certification. Now who AWS practitioner certification is for? This certification is for everyone who want to upskill and grow. Your interest in cloud technology and aim to learn something out of box is all you need as prerequisite. Keeping the certification aside, putting yourself into cloud domain and understanding the cloud concepts will take you better place for sure. Let me list down some of the professional who should start their cloud journey right now. If you are in IT sector and working as a developer, you can go for this certification. If you are an IT professional and want to learn cloud, then you can go for this certification. Non-IT professionals from sales and management domain can also go for AWS practitioner certification. AWS Cloud Practitioner validate fundamental cloud knowledge like how cloud impact businesses, AWS services, billing, pricing and security concepts. Now let's see all the necessary details about AWS Practitioner exam. There will be 65 questions. The format of exam either multiple choice or multiple response. The exam can be taken at testing center or from comfort and convenience of a home or office location as in online mode. You have to solve all the questions in 90 minutes. The cost of exam is 100 USD. You have to pay $20 more if you want to take practice exam before the actual exam. 
So if we talk about the recommended knowledge and experience, AWS recommend candidate to have at least six months of experience with AWS cloud in any role, including technical management, sales, purchasing or financial. Candidate should have basic understanding of IT services and their use in AWS cloud platform. And if you talk about the knowledge in bucket, so candidates should have knowledge of AWS cloud concepts, security and compliance within AWS cloud, understanding of the core AWS services and understanding of the economics of AWS cloud. This exam basically contained four main domains along with weightage. Like the weightage of cloud concepts is 26%, security and compliance is 25% and so on. If you want to recap all this, we are also going to put this video on our blog, which you can check out by going on to the link k21academy.com slash AWS CLF 11. That will have everything you must know in order to certify it on AWS Cloud Practitioner. As we all know that preparation for any certification is not so easy. For preparing an exam, we need to follow a correct path to pass the exam. Now let's move ahead and discuss AWS Practitioner exam preparation tips and some FAQs. So the first steps towards becoming AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner will be start with AWS training classes. The first one is AWS Cloud Practitioner Essential. This free six hour course covers essential information about AWS Cloud. So you can be comfortable discussing AWS why it's beneficial for businesses. You will build AWS cloud knowledge by learning about AWS cloud concepts, core AWS services, security, architecture, pricing, support and more. The next one is AWS technical essential. This course inform you about AWS services, products and some ordinary solutions. It make you more efficient in analyzing AWS services so that you can be able to resolve IT issues. The next one is AWS business essential. So this course will help you to know the benefits of cloud computing, including financial profits and how cloud approach help you to attain business goals. The next one is review the outline in exam guide. To check out exam guide, you can write AWS cloud practitioner certification on Google. Then click on first result. You will find all the necessary information about this exam by clicking on download the exam guide. AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification Exam covered the basic concept and knowledge of AWS Cloud. If you have some prior working experience on AWS Cloud Platform, then self-study is enough to pass the certification exam. You can also find a lots of material related to AWS Practitioner Exam on K21 website, which will help you to learn quickly. As we know that learning the exam content is necessary, but not enough to do well in the exam. If you want to perform well, you must practice through the AWS Cloud Practitioner exam as these tests contain actual structure and content. You can also try some full length practice tests as they are more beneficial to find weak areas and make improvements on them. Now check out some FAQs like what is benefit of getting AWS certified? How does staff getting AWS certified benefits and organization? How do I take AWS certified Cloud Practitioner exam? You can check out these FAQs by going on to the link k21academy.com slash AWS CLF 11. If you are preparing for AWS Cloud Practitioner certification and want to learn right from basics to advanced level, then we have a waitlist program for you. By the end of this program, you will have a knowledge of introduction to cloud and AWS, AWS global infrastructure, AWS compute and storage services, AWS security services, networking, monitoring services, and more other topics. You can register for this waitlist by going on to the link k21academy.com slash AWS CP dash waitlist. When you are all done with your preparation and confident enough, it is right time to enroll for the exam. Choose online mode or any testing center near to your location. By following these steps, you will definitely pass the exam. I wish you all the best. If you found this video helpful, please give a thumbs up. I will see you in another episode from K21 Academy. Till then. Take care.